Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane. Thank you for watching today. Uh, in this video, I am going to be baking my Christmas cookies for the year. The recipe that I picked this year is um, flourless peanut butter blossoms. I have made these before. Um, they're a really great Christmas cookie and really easy to make. I'm going to be making five dozen of them. Each year I make a whole bunch of cookies and I hand them out to our neighbors and to my friends and family. Uh, last year I did uh, ginger molasses cookies and I think I did like an orange shortbread with chocolate as well. I can't remember, but <laughs> every year it's just a fun tradition we have a few days before Christmas. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is unwrap 60 Hershey's Kisses and I'm going to be doing that with the help of one of my daughters. So that's the other hands you're going to see. The next thing I'm gonna do is crack the eggs. So this recipe calls for, is this for 12 cookies and I'm making 60, so that's five dozen. So, um, each batch is one egg. So I'm gonna crack five eggs here really quick. I always crack my eggs into a separate bowl first, just in case a shell pops in there or there's something weird about the egg. But these eggs all look fine. So those are ready. Here is my stand mixer, and I'm just gonna combine the sugar and the eggs and vanilla together first. So pour in the eggs. And I cut the sugar in this recipe. Each batch called for a half cup of sugar. But since this peanut butter that I'm using is already sweetened and there's gonna be a chocolate kiss on the top, I really wanted to cut back on the sugar a bit, again, to maintain the flavor of the peanut butter. All right, and let's turn on the mixer and get this all blended. Scrape down the bowl a little bit here. Okay, next ingredient is five cups of peanut butter, which is both of these jars. I picked a creamy, smooth peanut butter, pretty basic. Um, I find the smoother the peanut butter, um, the better texture in the cookie. Normally I would get like a natural peanut butter for most things, but in this case, I'm going with the regular plain old Skippy style of peanut butter. So I just got that started and now I'm gonna add the rest of the peanut butter. up the second jar. This is so much peanut butter, but it's a lot of cookies. I was thinking I might do two recipes this year. We'll see how this goes. I usually just kind of go overboard and I really want to do a kind of roll out cookie with shapes. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. Today's the 21st, so I still have some time. Okay, I got all the peanut butter in and I'm gonna finish blending it. So, as you can see, it's gonna be pretty sticky because there's no flour in here, so 
The way to make these is to use some kind of scoop or a spoon to get them out and measure them and then just carefully put them into a ball and put them on the cookie sheet. And I'm gonna get a little bit of help from one of my kids, so that's the other pair of hands you're gonna see again. So we're gonna do that next. All right, my little helper right here is gonna be helping me to make these dough balls to go in the oven. The oven's all preheated, so we gotta work pretty quickly here. We're gonna try to get a dozen on this cookie sheet on the parchment, okay? Let's go. Okay, great, we got a dozen here. We need to do that four more times. My second little helper is here to do another dozen. We're gonna get started and try to do two batches in the oven at once. Time to get them in the oven. Okay, it's just about time to take out the first two batches of cookies. Yes, Dale, I do keep my tomatoes on the counter. Otherwise, they just taste like nothing. So don't put your tomatoes into the refrigerator. All right, the timer's gonna go off in any second. And as soon as the cookies are up here on the stove, I'm going to quickly put in the Hershey Kisses going right away when the cookies are still hot. Right. Pardon my gross old oven mitts, but they do the job. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, I did not roll these in sugar before I put them in the oven or, um, yeah, I did not roll the balls into more sugar because, again, I just, I don't like how that tastes. I like just a peanut butter cookie that happens to have a Hershey Kiss right in the middle of it. So I have the other two trays ready to go in to bake some more cookies. So these ones have been cooling on the pan for about 10 minutes, and so now they're ready to go onto the racks to cool completely because the Hershey Kiss is now pretty melted, so you can't really touch it or it'll lose its integrity. Um, I have these really awesome tiered cooling racks that I got a long time ago. There's like two levels, and I have other cooling racks too. I'm going to need all of them, I think. So now that that's done, I am going to make yet more cookie dough balls. <laughs> I have, oh gosh, I've lost track. I just have a bunch more to make. Well, I'm all done. I finished, uh, well, my goal was 60 cookies and it wound up being 59. And I kind of ruined one of them, but that's okay, because that's gonna be the one that I eat to make sure that they're good. You know, you always have to do that. And right now everything is cooling. It will take it'll take a while for it to cool completely because the Hershey Kiss has to solidify again. Uh, when you put it in there, it pretty much melts. Um, but it has to get solid again and then they will be totally done. 
and uh, my apron. I got this at Target. I really love it. It's really, really cute. It has like a honeycomb pattern on it. I also wanted to show you my holiday cookie book. It's um, holiday cookies, show-stopping recipes to sweeten the season. Now, I usually look through this book in December to try, try to decide if I want to do any of the recipes. And most of these are pretty elaborate, but some of them are not too bad. This one's like oatmeal cookies, with chocolate, bookmark some of these. Um, thumbprints, spicy plum jam. I never tried that one. I wonder which ones. I don't remember. Oh, and there's also saffron pistachio biscotti. Sounds familiar if any of you watch Dale's Addiction, which I hope you do. And yeah, there's some awesome recipes. There's a fudge recipe, dark chocolate, hazelnut, fudge. I picked this up at a local bookstore a while back, and it pretty much has every kind of you know, Christmas cookie that you'd want to make. And I think this is more for the experienced baker, um, because a lot of them do involve special um, ingredients and tools and things like that, and time consuming. Some of them way more time consuming than I want to do or more elaborate than I want to do. Like, um, look at these ones on the cover. They're like snowflakes, but the designs are like perfect looking. Um, one of these has like a little like stencil or something. I don't know if it's going to focus, but yeah. But I mean, they're amazing. But my goal when I make cookies is for flavor and not necessarily appearance. Um, so I think they should just taste good because sometimes you get Christmas cookies that look really cute and they have like a cool frosting, frosting and design and sprinkles and then you taste them and you're like, this is not a good tasting cookie. So I am going for flavor over, uh, maybe substance over style would be a good way of putting it. Um, so yeah, I'm all done with my Christmas baking, at least this recipe. I'm still thinking about making a different one too so that I'll have more to pass out and have some variety. I'm gonna put everything in. Picked up these um, Ziploc slider bags. I actually got these last year, I think, and I had a whole bunch of them left over in the pantry. And they're really cute. It's just a Ziploc and it has the design on it. And then you just do this. Um, I sometimes do those cellophane treat bags and then tie them with a ribbon at the top, but this year things were just really busy and I didn't order those in time or go shopping for them. And I realized I still had plenty of these. I have another box too. So everyone's just going to get a cute Ziploc. And actually it's better because it's airtight, so it just keeps them fresh for longer. Not that they're going to last very long, I hope. I hope that they're consumed quickly. Thank you so much for watching my little baking vlog today. Um, I will put the recipe down below for these cookies and anything else that I think of linking to. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I would love your comments down below. Do you like to bake cookies for Christmas or have any special baking or cooking traditions that you do for the holidays? That's one of my favorite parts of the holiday season. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I would love if you could subscribe to me. I have one more video I wanna make this week if I have time. And that's gonna be uh, sharing all my bag charms, um, my bag charm collection. So stay tuned and hopefully I'll have that up soon. <laughs> Thank you again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.